Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, we've got a pretty nice overcast day today, so it'll be good to do some outdoor work. And if you ever want it to rain, when you're wanting rain, just start working outdoors. Never fails. So getting a few little showers rolling through here today too, which is, which is good. We need some water. And I got the workspace covered up so I can keep on going regardless of what the weather is. So we'll hike on out here to the work site. I told you guys, I don't know, a couple weeks ago or so that I had a project going, building a new little work studio. And here I've got those uh, 240 watt portable sol uh, solar panels uh, that came with that Opus charger. So I've got power out here. And I'm just starting to lay out the footprint of this. I guess we'll call it a shotgun shack. It's only going to be 8 by 16, which will be perfect just for a little work studio. And then I can work with shorter lumber, which is kind of nice too. So we've got the Opus charging up for the day. The sun's supposed to break out here in a minute, but uh, by bringing this little portable power station out here, I'm keeping all of my rechargeable tools up and running no problem got extra batteries when one's dead i'm charging another one so i don't have to have any stop in uh, the production and then of course i did because when i started this yesterday the minute i came out here to work it started raining so i just put this little 10 by 10 canopy over me so i can keep moving and the longer that i hang out up in this area you know, I keep trying to scope out a sweet spot for the solar panels that I will eventually put in uh, some hard panels up here to power up this little workshop. And right now, this is pretty much the sweet spot, but that's, that's not where I'm going to want uh, my hard array because it's only a sweet spot for a very short period of the day. And I'll show you why. And that's because... Now we're facing in the same direction as the panels right here. And I'll go up and show you where the sun is. And there you can see the sun. And it is over those trees, but you know, which is good if it was out in full sun. Great location right here, but it doesn't last that long because uh, these trees here, as it goes across the sky, this time of year will start to drop it down. So I've been walking around, you know, all the area right here behind where the shop is going to be. And I thought originally this might be a nice spot in here. Turns out it's really not. I haven't spent a lot of time on this part of the property and I really don't want to have to go out in here to put them because it's not going to gain me that much. So right here, I cleared this thinking that it would be a good spot as well. But I'll show you. You know, I've got some tall trees to get over here too. Now in the summertime, of course, that sun would be straight overhead. But I want to build it for the lowest time of the year. And what I have found is the real sweet spot is 75 feet that way for year-round catching great sun. So that's where I'm going to build a permanent array for this workshop is 75 feet that way. And that gives me a little extra slack to hook everything up at 75 feet. And I don't think that's going to be a problem to run that far. On a few of my other arrays, I already do run uh, a 60 foot run and I, I do just fine with that. So I'm not really that concerned about an extra 15 feet to power up that place back up in there. So the way I'm walking now is the way I will run the, the cables uh, through all of this area up to there. 
and the sweet spot is, I'll show you where that is. So right here is the sweet spot. And all I have to do is make a little clearing right here. Just clear that out a little bit and then put my array there. I'm gonna start with 400 watts of panels. I think that's gonna be fine for what I'm gonna be using it up there for. And there you can kind of in the background see where I'm going. I measured it out earlier this morning from my real sweet spot here all the way back into there. And 75 feet, like I said, gave me a few extra feet to work with. So once I start tying everything up, so that's gonna be the spot. And like I've mentioned before, uh, I always build for uh, this time of year where the sun is at its uh, lowest point. Because then after that, when the sun gets up high, I'm gonna be in great shape. But I want it to be in great shape for this time of the year. And I think that's what's gonna be perfect. So what I'm gonna do is the solar will be tied in, come in that way. That's the easiest run. And then I'll build a little uh, power station back there in that back corner. And then I'll have all of the room to do whatever I want to do. Take a nap, do a battery review, <laughs> take another nap. And I'm going to build this entire thing without using one drop of gasoline. Uh, that's always my goal for everything I do is to make the sun power everything I need. I've got all my power tools, uh, rechargeables out here. If I need a heavier duty skill saw, which I believe I'm going to for a few things, that's okay too. The Opus will run my skill saw, my little more heavy duty than that little uh, Ryobi that I'm using right now, which it actually works quite well, but I'm going to need to make some some bigger, longer rips through some heavier material here, probably starting today. So I'll bring out the, the heavy-duty skill saw and power it up with the sun to that power station. And I'm not hauling a, a gas generator out to the work site, so that's just that's just a great thing. Nice and quiet work environment. And as you can hear, this time of day, no frogs. And then right out here, uh, this is facing east. And this will be my view from where I'm going to put the front door minus the truck. I'm just using that to haul stuff up here. But this is going to be a pretty nice view. I'll catch the morning early morning sun, having some coffee. And since I spend a lot of time sitting around and looking at the jungle around me and enjoying it, that's not gonna be a bad view. And this is gonna be pretty nice too. I'm gonna put a little teeny deck out looking this way. This catches great afternoon uh, shade. So it's gonna be nice and cool to sit right back in here. And then off what will be the, the back, the natural jungle wall, some nice trees. Yeah, very nice. And here comes a little bit of rain, so I'm stepped underneath the cover and I'm gonna get to work. This is the project of the day. I hope to get this footprint all leveled up and then I can start running some floor joists here. Uh, if not today, by tomorrow. It's going to take me a little while to get this thing dead level everywhere and supported around the perimeter of the footprint. And then I'll get the joists in and go from there. But that's going to keep me busy today. Rain or shine. <laughs> Have a good weekend, everybody, and I'll keep you up to date on this progress. Aloha.